Hey everyone, Adam with Droid Media here, and today we're going to be making mounts and dimmers for our DIY LED tube lights. So if you're watching this video, you probably watched our previous video on making your own LED tube lights. You can find that video up top somewhere and I will link it down below as well. Now you don't need to have made your own tube lights though, as these mounts will hold any standard fluorescent tubes or other one and a half inch diameter tube lights like the Quasar Science Lights. We'll be making dimmers for our DIY tube lights as well. So let's go ahead and get started. For the materials you're gonna need, a small ABS plastic box. I used a one by four by three inch box, a dimmer controller, my lights recommended a 15 amp dimmer, so I had to go with a larger one, but just check your lights and get one that can handle them. I also went with one that I didn't need to solder, like the light strips in our lights, it has solderless adapters. A four way 12 volt adapter and splitter. A flat piece of plastic, I bought this one online, but you could honestly just cut a square out of an old Rubbermaid container. You just wanna make sure that it is rigid enough to support the weight. These light clips, which will hold the tubes we made already, quasar tubes or standard fluorescent tubes, a baby pin adapter, I like the Impact brand ones from B&H, some small nuts, bolts, and washers, some Velcro with adhesive backing, a drill and a hot glue gun. Let's start by making the dimmer. First, pull the dimmer knob off and see what size drill bit you'll need. Here I used a one quarter inch bit, I believe. Figure out where your dimmer will need to go I wanted one end to have the dimmer knob and then the opposite end to have the input and output. Find the middle and then using a very unscientific method, place your dimmer inside the box and see where the dimmer knob needs to emerge and then make a mark there. Start by drilling a smaller pilot hole, then a larger one. Because of the ridges on the inside of my box, I had to jimmy the drill around a little bit to make the knob fit. Make sure the dimmer fits and then take it back apart and set it aside for right now. Grab your adapter or splitter and cut the end that has a single strand on it. We're going to use both pieces of this adapter. Grab the end of the splitter and strip the wire we just cut and pull the wires apart just a little bit. Grab your other end and do the exact same thing. Now strip all four of the wires that we have access to. When we put the dimmer back down, we won't be able to see the bottom where the input and output markings are. So what I did was give myself a few little marks here so I knew exactly where each of the inputs and outputs were. Get your wires. We want them to attach to the dimmer on the inside and then be able to attach our power and our lights on the outside. Here you can see approximately where we want them. We're gonna cut two holes on this other end to fit these wires through. I used a 3 8 inch bit for the input and then used a half inch bit for the output. My dimmer was attached at this point and I almost rammed a drill bit into it so use some common sense and make sure your box is entirely empty at this point. Grab your end with the splitter on it. You can see that this rectangle piece won't fit into the circular hole we just drilled. So wind your outputs through one by one from the inside and your input will attach from the outside. Now I did this so if you are constantly plugging and unplugging these lights that you can't accidentally yank the output out or push the input in. Before we secure anything down though, let's hook everything up and make sure that it is all working. Attach your wires, and remember, black is negative and red is positive. Hook your lights up and test your dimmer out. Everything should be working great at this point. Once that's done, it's time to hot glue the wires in place. There are probably prettier ways of doing this, but what the fuck ever. I also used a little bit of super glue to adhere the dimmer plate to the plastic box itself. Once that's done, use the little screws that came with your box and close it up tight, and then go ahead and set all of that aside. Now let's work on the mounts for our lights. I bought this big plastic sheet online initially with the intent of making a Kino Flow style shell for my lights, but I realized I didn't really want those barn doors or need them even. So I opted to go for a single flat panel to just mount my lights on. You can make whatever size you need though or even multiple sized ones for various lighting scenarios and arrays. I made mine to hold all four of my 18 inch lights since I will typically be using them as a four by bank of lights. So I cut a nine inch by 12 inch section out with a hacksaw and then sanded down the edges so they were a little smoother. Measure and make marks at one inch three and a quarter inch, five and three quarters inch, and eight inches along the shorter of the sides. This will give us a little room between each of the lights. Now repeat on the other side. Then mark at the three inch line and the nine inch line on the opposite length. This should give us eight areas where our light clamps are gonna go. 
Now drill a hole at each of these marks and then use a small bolt, a lock washer, and a nut and attach eight of your clamps. Be sure these will allow the lights to go lengthwise, not the other way. Snap your lights in and make any adjustments you need to to straighten them out. Now flip the unit over and grab the Velcro with adhesive backing. We want to connect our dimmer to one of the sides. Only part of the box will have Velcro on it, but it will hold just fine. Grab your baby pin and plate adapter. Now we want this to go directly in the center of the plate. Lay it down, mark where the holes need to be, pop your lights out so we don't damage anything, and then drill them. Then using some small bolts, lock washers and nuts again, connect the baby pin plate adapter to the back. I used a screwdriver and a wrench to make sure everything was extra tight at this point. Now snap those lights back in, and then connect everything. You should now have your very own bank of LED tube lights. To use, just connect the baby pin to a grip head on your light stand and turn them on. Here's something I would do a little differently. My connectors aren't long enough coming from my dimmer, so I have to keep the lights kind of off to one side. You can see here there's only about an inch sticking out on that side and a couple inches on this one. So for future builds, I would consider just one output or maybe securing multiple outputs along one of the sides of my dimmer box, which would give me more flexibility and the ability to use longer cords, splitters, or other adapters to power the lights. Honestly, the sky is the limit here with these lights and this adapter. You can make custom shapes or connectors to hold the light in any way, shape, or form you need for your project. Now, if you end up making one of these, be sure to share the finished product with us. If you have any comments or questions about this DIY project, please leave those in the comments section below. If you like this video and want more content just like this, be sure to subscribe and please consider sharing this or any of our other videos on social media. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I will see you next time.